All right, uh, this is episode uh, 1B, the battery box. And so here I have the parts and pieces. I don't have an awful lot of parts. Off to the left here is some weather stripping, and it's, uh, it can stick to the surface. I think it's a half inch. All these parts I'll have the, under the uh, in the description for the video. I decided to go with a two inch vent. And back here is a two inch hole drill. Over here is we got some L brackets. And then I've got some latches here and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing with that. Now the idea on my battery box is I don't wanna make it permanent. I wanna be able to be in pieces and I put it together and latch it. With that battery, if I have to remove it, um, I'm gonna to have to take the battery box easily apart and slide it back out the entrance door underneath uh, the bench for the dining room table. So here's these latches here that I end up getting. All this is off of Amazon. Now, over here is the battery. I'm gonna build up the battery box, get it all together, and then I'll take it apart and show you how I did it. I'm gonna put uh, a vent in the floor and then a vent in the wall by that wire that's going through the wall there. Now let's talk about the batteries. Um, your regular flooded lead acid is what I have. It's my secondary battery. And this one here is a 200 amp hour battery. And I decided to go with the gel cell. Now what my research has is the AGM batteries will last twice as long as your flooded battery. And this one here last three times as long. I just didn't see the the expense for a lithium battery. Now with this battery we got to put the vents in. It really will not probably gas much if it gases at all. But they say that it should be ventilated so I will be putting the vents in. So we're going to move to putting the battery box together. We'll show you the completed battery box and I'll take it apart and show you how I put it together. Here is the battery box, partially completed. I uh, used plywood on the sides over here. And over here. And at the end of the plywood, I used that uh, weather stripping on both ends at the top. And over here, the same thing. And at the end, the corner brackets to hold it down. Now you're going to have to measure it up for yourself. Um, Sort of have to piece it together. You see how I did the pieces here? I had this this piece here, and then this one along the total length, and then this one back here. Then I used the corner guys to hold it down at the bottom. And then at the top here, I got a one by two around the entire box here. You can see, and then over here. There's the vent in the floor. Make sure when you put that vent in, you point the vent to the rear of the trailer. You don't want to point it forward because if you're going down the road, water can come in. And here's the one over here, the outside. It came out really nice. So, I'll show you the top pieces here. pretty slick here's the outside vent and you got to make sure the vent is pointing down so that came out pretty good I put caulk in around it put a shit pushed it in use the two inch drill for that and it worked out really nice okay I'd like to point out a couple other things here here's the inside of the box you can see another bracket down here Hold the inside wall. Now over here, I put a 2x4 right here to hold this battery from sliding forward rather than putting those L brackets down in there. Now the other thing is I haven't caulked up the holes yet. I plan on doing that when it's a little nicer outside. Shouldn't bother anything. I hope no mousies come in. But it's all buttoned down so it shouldn't be too bad. So I wanted to show you that there so move to the top now here is the uh, completed battery box and you can see that uh, 
I wasn't able to use the latches. I am going to end up having to screw in the lid. But I've got these square top screws, not Phillips head, so it should be pretty easy. And you, you can see on this board here, the entire length, we put the, the weather strip on there and on the top here. Then over on this one, we got the weather strip on there, here, and here. And when I put them together, because you got the weather strip in there, you're going to have to tilt them and then press them down. But it's sealed up really nicely. It's, uh, I wish I could have used those lashes, but it didn't work out as I had hoped. So if you enjoy our video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a nice day.